y'all welcome back to my channel i'm gonna do a really quick demo on a new fenty hydrovisor tinted moisturizer broad um, mineral spf 30 sunscreen um this is available in 10 shades it retails for 42 dollars it is going to hydrate it also has a radiant finish it comes with a refillable tube thingy i don't know the exact name and also on the side of it it comes with the instructions to show you exactly how to put it together so anyway i went with the shade seven according to the chart on fenty and sephora i could have uh, used the shade six or seven but i decided just to go with the shade seven even though i don't really feel like this has to be spot on but i just went with the shade seven and i feel like it was a pretty good shade match and that's what it looks like once you kind of put it together it is recommended that you apply this product with your fingertips so that's pretty much what i did um, in this video you will see me using my fingers blending it out y'all the coverage on this is very very light like almost no coverage at all in my opinion i went in with a lot because i have a lot of dark spots on my face and it didn't cover up hardly anything so i end up going back in with more you'll see that in the video this is not one of those skin tint spf where you kind of can go in with a concealer bronzer blush all that i mean you probably could but i wouldn't because i feel like you would have to put a lot of this on um to get coverage now if your skin is perfect you don't have any dark spots hey you might can make it work <laughs> but if you have any darkness or acne hyperpigmentation on your face you will have to use a lot and i don't think that you should um also when i finish blending this out you will see that it is very radiant a little too radiant for me so at some point in the video you will see that i used a setting powder to tone down some of the shine but other than that i really love the finish it looks very nice and natural this is a product that i won't be again using bronzer and blush and all that with. i'm just going to set it and pretty much go on about my day and as you see i did apply more because i do have some dark spots and as you see, it's not really doing that much covering, but I did add more. And also, if you have extremely oily skin like myself, um, after you set this, um, SPF, I would recommend using a setting spray. I've had this for three or four days now, and I noticed the first couple times I used it and I didn't use it with the setting spray, I got very, very shiny um, right away. And I see a difference with it whenever I go in with a setting spray. So again, if you have oily skin, I would recommend using some type of setting spray. If you have very, very dry skin, dry to normal, you should be okay without using a setting spray. But anyway, y'all, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.